Feeling lonely isn't in itself a mental health problem, but the two are strongly linked. Having a mental health problem increases your chances of feeling lonely, and feeling lonely can have a negative effect on your mental health. People over the age of 75 are particularly vulnerable to loneliness and social isolation, and it can have a serious effect on their health. People can become socially isolated for lots of different reasons, such as getting older or weaker, not being the hub of their family anymore, giving up work, the deaths of their loved ones, or through disability or illness. Whatever the cause, it's really easy to be left feeling alone and vulnerable, which can lead to depression and other mental health problems, and a serious decline in physical health and well-being. It's important to remember that loneliness can and does affect anyone of any age. Here are some ideas for connecting with others and combating loneliness. Having a chat with a friend or relative over the phone can be the next best thing to being with them. A good way to stay in touch is by using a personal computer or tablet. You can share emails and photos with family and friends. And you can make new online friends or reconnect with old friends on social media sites. It can also help to plan the week ahead and put things in your diary to look forward to each day. This could be going to a local coffee shop, going for a walk in the park, going to the library, your local sports centre or even to the cinema or museum. If you're really struggling to cope and you feel that you can't cope with day-to-day -day life, or if you're thinking about suicide or self-harm, visit the crisis page on our website. 